Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Raya. So right now I will going to uh, present to you a little bit of a brief introduction about composite. So uh, in our previous class with uh, Dr. Aina, we already learned about uh, temperature in the method. So right now we are going to focus on the graphical method using composite and So basically, uh, composite curve is being categorized under this category. So what is really the composite curve? So basically, the composite curve is the net heat flow characteristic versus temperature. The net heat flow characteristic is being referred to enthalpy. So it functions to identify the region that has a higher or a lower CT and also uh, will identify where will be the heating and cooling utilities are required in the process. So now continuing what, from what Suraya explained earlier, I will explain on how we can develop a composite curve. So the composite curve, uh, the purpose of composite curve is we need to find the MLR, uh, minimum energy requirement. So this minimum energy requirement is can be determined from this QH uh, minimum energy required for heating and minimum energy required for cooling QC mean. So this is an example from, from a book. So I will use this example and I try to explain on how we can determine this group from the composite curve. So from this example we have two types of stream of course cold stream and hot stream and we have the uh, supply temperature, target temperature, enthalpy and the heat capacity. So first we need to develop the composite curve for the hot stream or cold stream at the one. So the curve is quite quite straightforward. We will make the graph of temperature versus enthalpy and nothing changed directly from the data given. So the first one is so I just classify this as H1 and H2. So we plot the first H1. The H1 temperature goes from 40 to 250. So we have 40 here and 250. And H2 goes from 80 to 200. So we have 80 and 200. So composite curve uh, means the, is the combination of the two curves. So to plot this curve, first we have to move this line to here. And we, uh, first we have to make straight line here first dash straight line so we have so we can determine at which point uh, to start so we have here make the same line here so we have here uh, approximately like this so we move this line here and we already have this line so and from this line we just make a straight line from this point to this point and this straight line is the combination of these two lines line from H1 and line from H2 so we already have this line exactly like this one so we have here from H1 and from H1 and this in the middle is the summation of H1 plus H2. That's how we get the CP value. This is the CP for H1, this is the CP for H1, and this is the, uh, the summation of CP from H1 and H2. And using the same, uh, same method, we can develop the composite curve for the cold stream. So we have here C1 and C2. So first we plot uh, C1 from 20 to 180 and C2 from 140 to 230. So from this point forward, we have already have a straight line here and straight line here. 
but we have this double line. So this double line need to be combined. So we just plot this straight to here. So same, we have okay, we have C1 and C2, and this in the middle is C1 plus C2. It's a summation. So how to determine the MDR? We need to combine both composite curve under uh, under one graph. So we will have we will have the core line here and the hot composite curve here at the top. So from these two lines we can find that there are excess here and excess here in which the lines are not stack with each other. So these two axes, and based on the, the range that we plot down here, we can determine the amount of enthalpy at that range. So this range uh, to the right side is the QH minimum, 7.5 megawatt. And this range for the left side is here, QCP, uh, which is 10 megawatt. So this means that this system requires 7.5 megawatt externality and this here requires 10 megawatt of external cooling and this is the amount of energy recovery, energy recovery that we can get so to determine the pinch first here is this delta T equals to delta T mean so delta T mean is what we what we decide whether it is 10 degrees C or 20 degrees C. So when delta T, so we need to calculate from this to this the difference of this temperature to this temperature. And when the temperature is equal to 10, as we decided, 10 degrees C, and that here is the pitch for the system. And that is how we plot a composite curve. So that's all from us. Thank you.